Welcome back to the Nerdiverse, I'm Danny. I'm Chang. Here we are, Mishoka Tensei, Season 2, Part 2, but it's Episode 2 of that, but 14 in, in total. So Season 2, Episode 14, called Wedding Reception. So, are we actually getting a wedding? Looks like getting? it. Seems like we're going through it pretty quickly. Yeah, nice. I object, Eris, where are you? Wow. Um, <laughs> Ah, but I'm assuming it's their wedding it's about, right? There's no one else that's getting married, is there, that we don't know about? I think no, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be Rudy and Sylphie. Well, I'm excited for this because actually the first episode back was actually quite good. I quite liked the first episode back. Um, having that weird doll, uh, which uh, I really want to know a bit more about as we go in. But um, yeah, so I'm excited to see what, what's going to happen with this one. Are we ready to get in? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, three, two, one, one let's go. go. ご視聴ありがとうございました パウロたちも呼びたかったが、距離的にしょうがない。おわ、デニムでバイエスファミリー。ななほしさん忘れてるよ。あいつは参加すんのかね。ザノバ君が絶対来るよ。それにリニアとプルセナも来るんじゃない
Buddy got sick of a shit speech. <laughs> it's just like, let's party. Wait. Is this their way of getting married? Or is this supposed to be like the night before? I guess it's just kind of like the party part of it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's how she's going to eat with a mask on. <laughs> I still find it funny that Julie's drinking beer when she's like eight. <laughs> what would they have had bad, hard feelings for? Do they ever have any issues? I don't remember them having any conflict. <laughs> yeah, Rudy thought he was uh, experiencing, you know, male love. Still find it funny how <laughs> like half of the season he thought he was gay. Oh, is that it? Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> this is awkward. Oh, Rudy, you're keeping secrets from Sylphie, man. Not even told her yet. Bruh. Yeah, I'm curious if he will ever actually tell her. I feel like he should, because I, 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 I know it might seem like a big deal, but like, I feel like he probably should tell her. Yeah, I think he should tell her. Yeah, I think he should tell her. Yeah, I think he should tell her. Like, you should say, Sylphie, I'm a 40 year old man. What's up with that? Wait for it. Wait. Wait, is she alright? What the fuck is wrong with her? どうしたもしかしてエリナリーゼさんって僕のおばあちゃんですかサプライズ。わっお父さんが言ってました。僕のおばあちゃん。まさまがこんな陰陽な発言。内容がエリナリーゼさんとか。わあ。Why is this only come up now? <laughs> family. It's important. <laughs> Do you remember they had a conversation about the pendant ages ago? I think it was when Ellen Elise first met Rudy, she asked him where he found where he got that pendant from. Yeah. <laughs> so what is Cliff technically going to be related to them as if they yeah, got married? Yeah, I think, I think that, yeah, I, th I think Grandfather? So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Grandfather Cliff. Ooh, what's this going to be about? What? Why? Oh, well, that's not good because he's not that skilled with the sword at all. You say that, but you're comparing him against people like Eris and Rujid. 
True, but even his father was better than him. But his father was also a very skilled swordsman. Yeah, but surely, surely Luke could be skilled, mate. He's like, yeah, he's, well, he's like a guard or whatever. The I don't know his title is, but probably. But he's still quite young compared to some of those people. Is this like proving that he can protect Sylphie or something? Maybe. <sighs> no one's using the Buster Sword though. Oh jeez. Right. <laughs> oh nice. What was that? Luke Senpai. Did he not use magic? No, he doesn't need to. He's got the demon eye though, hasn't he? True. She needs to get a new person in charge of her nights, man. Fucking hell, if he can't even take on Rudy. Yeah, but Rudy's fucking strong. Like, he's travelled across the demon continent as a child. Yeah, he's strong with magic, but I'm just questioning his ability as a sword. I'd say even his sword skills aren't that bad. They're not anything special, but he does also have his demon eye, which helps him a lot in combat. Oh, wow. むしろ俺は一緒についていき、手伝おうとする気がする。とはいえ、もしあなたがシルフィを大切にしていなければ、私たちは彼女を取り返します。肝に銘じておきます。What well, are they still going to get paid though? What do you mean paid? Well, that's Sylvie's job, like to get paid by them, wouldn't it? Like, you know, that. Should she actually get paid? Yeah, she said she gets, like, wages. She was saving her wages up. So basically, she just sacked her. Well, it was more letting her friend go and live her life, like, safely, instead of having to risk her life. Protecting a princess who's eventually going to have to, like, go to war for her kingdom and probably risk everyone around her. Yeah. <laughs> エリナリーゼは、シルフィーの祖母だったらしい。シルフィーのことも一目見て自分の孫か、ひ孫だと分かったらしい。でもしょ。見て感極まってしまったようだ。ルーデス、リーゼのことなんだが、正直彼女は
how much they've grown and gotten close. episode i enjoyed it it was a nice and wholesome episode i feel like there wasn't really too much to say or react to because it was just a lot of small sort of nice sweet moments between the characters so yeah there wasn't really too much input um we did get the big revelation that i've known for a while but ellen elise is actually uh Sylphie's grandma um yeah that was pretty interesting i didn't see that one coming to be fair I I don't know. I just couldn't didn't see it happening at all. <laughs> it was teased was like, at the beginning of season two when uh, Rudy and Eleni's first met, because um, she saw that Rudy had Sylphie's necklace and was like, "Oh, where'd you get that from? I've got one similar." And then there was a shot of them comparing the necklaces. That was mm -hmm. like a kind of tease towards it. But yeah, I I didn't see it coming when I <laughs> read about this, <laughs> but. It's definitely nice that Sylphie actually does have some family left then, because both of her parents were originally killed in the teleportation incident, so... Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say it's quite nice that she actually has got someone now, because it did feel a bit bad for her that she's got no one. Yeah. Um, but uh, it turns out she has got someone, so yeah, excited to see how it's going to play out. I'm excited to see where it goes from there, because yeah, it was a wholesome episode, and i just seen where, where the rest of the season's going to go now. It's nice to kind of get that cemented, the married happy um let's see what's gonna happen but normally with these things i wonder how long happiness normally ends something's gonna happen like that they're gonna have to get involved in but hopefully they work together now i wonder if she'll travel with him if, if should he need to travel away and or whether she'll just stay here and potentially so i mean they're both yeah. very strong like magic yeah. users so they'd be a good team so yes it would be interesting to see, see them adventure together yeah, and also just see when they when they're planning on having kids because I know she, originally she was only going to do that when like they had a bit of money or whatever, and and she was not doing her job and taking a bit of time away. But now that she's not got to do that anymore, it's kind of like well, yeah, well, they probably kind of whenever they want them really now. So it depends when they're going to want them though. Well, we did yeah, see um, Ariel say that, but it was to Rudy, so I'm not sure if Sylphie's going to argue against it because. You know, to to Sylphie, it's not just a job. Like, you know, they're her closest yeah. friends. So, you know, looking out and being with her friends is going to be important to her as well. So I don't think she'd just accept leaving True. and quitting that easily. So, yeah, yeah, I'm curious to see how that all goes down. Well, we shall see in the next one then. But uh, like I said, I don't think there's much more to talk about after that one, really, because it was, a, like I said, just a wholesome one, really. Nothing really... Yeah, more to add. So, Indeed. yeah, let us know in the comments what you all thought about it, everybody, and uh, we'll see you in a week for the next one. Cool. Cheers, guys. Bye.